Good morning friends and a happy new year to you. It's the year 2020 and I don't know if you're excited about this year or if you're daunted by this year. But this morning I want to encourage you. Uh, and I want to encourage you from a psalm that David wrote. Now David, as you all know, is uh, Israel's king. Israel's second king and he was a man after God's own heart. And what defined David, because David uh, was quite a man. Um, the Bible describes him as many things. He was a shepherd, a poet, a musician, a giant slayer. Um, and as we all know, he was also king. But what defined David the most wasn't his identity or his purpose or his talents or his gifts. But what identified David the most and set him apart was the fact that he was chosen and anointed by God. That he was God's child. And a lot of time in the Psalms, David would refer to himself as the anointed. Anointed by God to be king. Anointed for this purpose. And it also has a double meaning because it means also the anointed, the Messiah, pointing to Jesus Christ, who would be the ultimate saviour. And you can see this in David's Psalms, when he writes and encourages his army, for example. He writes to them and he tells them, remember your God, remember who has given you this name, remember who set you up on high and defends you, Psalm 20 verse 1. And then that very famous um, passage that we all know, scripture that we all know, Psalm 20 verse 7 that says, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And that is what I want to leave with you for this year, for 2020. Don't trust in your name. Don't trust in your success or in your talents or in your gifts or in your ability to work or whatever man-made thing you're putting your trust in. Success, finances. But put your trust in the name of the Lord your God who has set you up on high and defends you and keeps you there and who anoints you for whatever you have to face and who especially will anoint, strengthen, refresh and give you everything that you need to thrive for Him in 2020. Until next time, goodbye.